binafsi ni na watu wengi sana ninaofahamiana nao ambao tumejuana kwenye kipindi hiki cha zaidi ya miaka kumi na mitano ya kufanya kazi hii. Wengi wao hushare story zao mbali mbali za maisha yao yaliyojaa kupanda na kushuka nami. Sote tunajua maisha ni milima na mabonde na kila siku kuna mafunzo mapya katika maisha yetu. Hizi ni baadhi ya hizo story ambazo watu hawa hukutana au wamekutana nazo katika maisha yao ambazo zitakufanya usome, uwaze au uangalie vitu kwa umakini zaidi na pia kujifunza. Mimi ni salama. Hawa ni rafiki zangu na sote tunakukaribisha wewe kwenye salama na Asante kwa kuchagua Salama na na leo Salama na Idris Sultan. Tafadhali usisahau kusubscribe kwenye channel yetu ya YouTube ambayo inaenda kwa jina la Ya Stone Town. Idris is really really nice to see you na nimefurahi kukuona kwa sababu nice kama umekuwa mrefu hivi kidogo ama umetanuka hivi kidogo ama ni ni ndevu kidogo ama ni sharubu kidogo. Hiyo yote ni kwa jia urefu. No, yani kuna kitu kimebadilika. Ama ah, kuna kuna lolote limetokea hapa kati. tu. No, acha. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of hell, I'm yeah. Thank you so much for giving me a, a cue. Mm. Um kulikuwa kuna kipindi ulikuwa unazo nyingi sana yes, ambazo yes. kila mtu alikuwa anazijua mm. na pengine kila mtu public pro- man is uh, probably <laughs> hata mimi nilishazipigia mahesabu yangu uh. what happened to that mula my brother <sighs> what is it ile ile ilikuwa na vipengele ile ile the first time ambayo nimepata nilikuwa na baadhi a lot of friends walikuwa behind me na kumbuka wakati mimi naondoka kwenda nilisema the main plan ilikuwa ga kukaa one month mm-hmm. no na sasa paka kuja kupata hela first thing first kwamba kulikuwa hakuna hakuna plan ya kupata zile hela tulipata tu yani ni Mungu anasema jamani chukua sasa wewe ndio ukupanga ngoja tukupe ukisema tu ni we na nani mara kwanza nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwa kiki kuna rafiki zangu wengi ambao walikuwa nafanya nao kazi pale alafu kechana hao na watu wengine ambao marafiki zangu wengine mm. so wakati mimi natengeneza plan ya kwenda nilisema nikiondoka huko nyuma ni acha like a team of people ambao wana push kufanya vitu fulani because i wasn't even sure kama nitakaa mm. mwezi mmoja ila mimi nilisema tu jamani tukifika kule tupate ile platform after tukapata platform tutafanya mambo mengine mengi ambayo tunataka sisi right so kuja kupata ile la first things tulikuwa tujui kama tutaipata baadaye tumekuja kutoka ile nimeshinda tu kwanza niliwaambia don't give me the money kwanza acha kama miezi kama mitatu hivi ili kichwa iweze kukaa sawa unajua nyuma ni mm. very bad yani kwa sababu ukiwa na watu na vitu kama hivyo maafu umeshatoka tu watu wote wanajua una hela wewe kwa hiyo kila mmoja anakuja na lake which it was true kwa sababu mimi nimetoka na hadi ndugu hajawahi sikia maisha ni mwako yani ni yule baba wa babu wa baba wa bibi wangu wa shangazi wa nani yani huyo anakuja yani and they all think kwamba wana right kwenye kile kitu ambacho umepata wewe just because unajua ile blood relation na vitu kama hivi to which sio mbaya lakini kwa kama una akili yako timam kwa muda ule unaweza kuvurugwa kweli na yeye akitimamu isibaki kwa sababu kila mmoja anakuja na plan yake kila mmoja anakuja na plan ambayo ukisikia inafanya kazi vibaya mno mm-hmm. yani kila mmoja wewe umeshaka na marafiki ambao kila mmoja anakuletea plan yake unaona very solid alafu unaamua una opt out but Two months later mbona na shangamba ya plan yake nafanya kazi vizuri au ifanye kazi kabisa mm. ilikuwaaje na mimi so sikuchukua the money for three months af baadaye kulikuwa kuna marafiki zangu ambao niko nao very close walikuwa wanisaidia kwenye vitu vyangu kunje ilikuwa either niwape kidogo kidogo au nianze kuanzisha kitu ambacho kitatusaidia sisi wote to which nikawaambia do you think naweza nikawagea kidogo kidogo as friends unajua kila mmoja akaenda kuanzisha kitu chake au mimi nikaanzisha wote wakasema tuanzishe umeshaona wale wengine ambao wakasema tuanzishe niongea kadogo kadogo hivi milioni 5 kimilioni 10 kila mmoja alikuwa ameondoka nacho umeshaona mm. so it was okay kwa sababu i took care of my friends ilikuwa sio obligation kwamba ni lazima yeah. ila ni kama ile courtesy kwamba okay these friends of yours wataenda kufanya kitu fulani sasa mmoja kati ya maafisa by the way unaweza unaweza kunywa sangria ukao unashushia hiyo hiyo kitu inaitwa nyegezi sawa yani kutoka samaki samaki ndio baba niko authorized ah vizuri kabisa unaenda pale unaagizia na washikaji zako au wengi ambao mlisaidiana kushinda hela mnachukua hilo la lita moja 1030 tu unaleka juu ya meza tunashia kama wale baadhi yao unaweza nishie na wewe kipo ni kitu yenyewe kabisa sasa what happened really nice. ni moja kati ya marafiki zangu 
mshikaji mmoja hivi anaitwa Mike. Tuko naye karibu sana. Na ni moja kati ya watu ambao nimejua nao kama 5 years hivi. Umeshaona? Sasa mm. hii nilikuwa nimemweka very close yani closer kuliko watu wengine kwa sababu yeye tumeanza naye tangu nyuma umeshaona wote tuko tunafanya kazi pale kwa rakia alikuwa ni modo coordinator na nina vitu kama hivyo kasema mimi sitaki ku spend money ndio maana hakuna hata mtu alikuwa anaona na ball anafanya nini i could have spent the money umeshanipata na uweze kufanya mambo makubwa mengi sana it ilikuwa ni 500000 i mean 300000 ukispend kwa kipindi kile ilikuwa ni kama 2600 nadhani rate ilikuwa ime fire up vibaya mno mm-hmm. kwa ilikuwa na kama milioni kama 600 hivi na kasema kwa nini tusianzishe vitu vingi kaingia kwenye mambo mengi yani kuna kuna swala zima la gold kulikuwa kuna swala la kufanya vitu vingine vyote hivi nimemweka a friend of mine ambaye yuko very close sasa kitu ambacho kimefanya so much money zikapotea and i don't understand zimepotea vipi umeshanipata mm. is the fact kwamba nakumbuka kipindi ambacho ndio hela zimepotea vibaya mno ni kipindi cha uchaguzi uchaguzi nakumbuka nilipigiwa na na na, na, na wa januari akaniambia He, he understands of my background kwenye swala zima la creative pamoja na photography na nini akaniambia sikia na kuhitaji wewe uwe kwenye uweze kusimamia timu nzima ya Nili ya, ya creative pamoja na photography na nini ya, ya, ya uchaguzi mzima ambao unaendelea kwa sasa hivi twitch tukaenda kwenye ofisi kwa hiyo mimi nilikuwa na akili yangu kubwa sana naangalia mambo ya billboards juma nini manini nilikuwa nafanya kazi Bennett na jamaa mmoja inaitwa Mkuki a very good friend ambaye alikuwa anahusika sana na the graphics pamoja na the outlook inaonekana mimi nilikuwa nahusika sana na the picture na vitu kama hivyo kwenda kufanya ile kazi unajua kabisa jamani hapa hii ni nchi ambayo inakutegemea kwa hiyo akili yako yote inabidi iwe kwa hapo kwa hiyo huku mimi nikitumiwa kuna kitu fulani nataka tufanye i authorize kuna kitu fulani nafanye na authorize sasa after some time na realize pap 200 pap 100 bro pap pause Ulikuwa unatumia hela yako? Yes. No no no, no sio kwenye sio kwenye uchaguzi. No no no, naongelea. Kwenye, kwenye hiyo kazi. Yaani mimi nimesimamia kwenye uchaguzi. Nakuelewa. On the background. So wakati niko kule mimi naweza nikapigiwa simu na yeye kwa sababu ndio mtu ambaye mtu yote akinipigia mungu anamwambia sikia, ongea labda na Mike. Mike akinipigia na authorize. Na authorize, na authorize. Sasa shangaa ni authorize 20, 20, 30, 30, 40. Mara na shangaa from 600 ime drop pap 300. Pap 200. Pap 250 lakini something kwa ananiambia ah he is somebody ambaye yuko nae close so then kama inaweza kavuruga chochote umeshaona labda the business kwa zote la vuanzaga lazima itoe kwanza you understand that concept kwamba itatoa 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 alafu baadaye itakuwa na in a gain but then na shangaa baada ya kutoa vitu vyote so many and kulikuwa kuna vikwazo vingi sana ambavyo vinatokea for that money to yield kama kuna swala moja litokea la usafirishaji na kumbuka ilikuwa ya gold. Usafirishaji everything is paid for. Gold iko paid for na kila kitu. I have so many friends South Africa, nilikuwa na friends Zambia, nilikuwa na friends wapi. What they trusted me kuweza ku deliver kwao the gold. Mesha nipata. Na ni watu ambao nime, nimekuwa trusted vibaya mno. I even met mtoto wa Mswati by the time nimekuja kuunganishwa na one, one, one girl nilikuwa na date na nili South Africa, akaniunganisha kwa mtoto wa Mswati wakati amenunganisha we sat na nikapewa kazi ya kufanya delivery kwake yeye umeshanipata imagine the amount of trust ambayo nilikuwa naikiwa to the level ambayo nilikuwa naambiwa if you need security pamoja na transport tuna uwezo kukupa private date ya nani li ya, ya kwetu ambayo unatumiwa by the time the, one of the queens kwa sababu ana ma queen wengi mm-hmm. like, one of the queens alikuwa ame land alikuwa ameenda Michelangelo A, nikaitwa niende nika meet the queen kama yeye atakaa siku mbili au tatu Within those three days ni pewe the jet ni fanya pap pap afu tumalize that time mimi niko kwenye uchaguzi umeshaona nikaamua kukimbia haraka nikaenda SA kukimbia SA na kuja kumaliza so narudi nyuma everything is messed up usafiri sio wa ule ambao mimi nimetuma kwenda huku nikasikia sio watu wamefika Zambia sio wamekimbia hapa mimi sasa Mike you the one ambao uliko unajua watu how is it kwamba umeshindwa kuweza kuengaze oh nikatoka nikaenda Zambia trust me unafika Zambia for the first time mimi nimefika Zambia usiku natembea through every single hotel pamoja na guest labda wapi watakuwa wamefikia simu zao labda hawajaweza kupata sim card or anything i didn't find these people kumbe these people never even left the country umeshanipata yeye alikuwa anaongea nao so at this time najiuliza niachane na uchaguzi nianze kukimbilia ile swala au nikomee na uchaguzi ambao ni kitu it's way more important umeshanipata 
everything is really messed up kichwa changu kinavurugika nikiangalia kwenye account sasa hivi na kama 40 ni kama 45 million by that time imagine 45 Unajua za eh how do i do this from yeah, 600 from 600 the only expenditure ambayo mimi nilifanya i bought a car my bmw mm-hmm. mshanipata ambayo ile cost kama kama 30 hivi mshanipata m nikatoa ile bmw kaeka pembeni kingine marafiki zangu wote niliwa treat out ambayo nili spend ni 10000 dollars ambayo ni kama 23m hivi hiyo mm. tu yani tena nilikuwa naziandika na i am very good at writing nikawa nimeziandika pembeni 10000 dollars tukaenda wote sauzi tukaenda zetu kwa wapi ilikuwa centurion tuka chill for a week tukamaliza it isn't ilikuwa vidude dude vibooking vi vinini bla 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 done kwa 10000 ondoa na 15000 labda ya gari hiyo mm. moja kwa moja ni 25000 that's the only money ambayo mimi ni spend hata my family haikugusa ile hela mshan pata to which this day wal wana to kia balam shikaji kwa sababu hicho kitu na mimi sasa the problem ni kwamba he was close to me my family wamjui kwa kidogo naweza ni come back up kwamba ah mama abda humjui mshan pata auntie humjui umeona mm-hmm. kwa hata mnavongea hivyo mimi niko close naye kwa ni kitu cha, cha tofauti kidogo umeshaona nikarudi wakati uchaguzi nikaja kumaliza nilivomaliza sasa mshikaji ananiambia ah uh, na kumbuka hicho sio ilikuwa ni kabla au ni baada ambako ndo alikuwa anafanya harusi yake Twitch. Harusi nikasema harusi mwana amekuja na nilia vibaya mno yani everything was not alright kwake yani. Yani naona kabisa vitu haviendi michango sio nini things are not really working out. Kwenye account hapo nina kama 30 something. Yema kaniomba vibaya mno sikia kumbuka ile mizigo yetu ya jamaa nimeshawapata amerudi huku tutaenda kuishirikia hiyo kesho kutwa ni jambo dogo Twitch ilikuwa ikitoka tu ile mizigo I'm back to 600 to 600. Mm. Pata, because it was a huge load ambayo imewekwa pale. Jamaa sinikatoa 18 million kwa ajili ya kushulikia <laughs> arusi yake in which wale watu wakimalizia michango atatoa ile hela tuende kumalize kwa this somebody unamjua for 5 years aende akamalize kule alafu aje arudi tuje tumalize everything. Kwa hiyo mimi ninakuwa na niko na hope ile mm. si wewe ni naive si wewe ni nini niko yeah. na hope this is going to work. Mshanipata Uh, I don't think it's na, n, kwa mo ni naive. I think you was stupid along the way. Yani it's I, I trusted too much yani. Ilikuwa ni too much trust ambayo nimeweka to people which si hata new people. Mshanipata. Mm. Hao ni watu. Salama hao ni watu ambao wewe sasa hivi ni kuambia mshikaji wako karibu ambaye mmehasu kuna siku hauna hata elfu moja mwana anakutupia labda kila kimoja na kaa nayo mm. baadaye unakuja unampa labda hata naye hata kingapi hata kudai mm. these are people you, you believe una trust we have those umesha nipate eh? kwa hiyo uwezi uka expect atafanya kitu kama hichi ni watu ambao mnajua mna grow together no kitu ambacho i believed sasa hivi <laughs> sasa hivi na different <laughs> mentality kiwicho yani so things really went south yani katika kipindi hicho sasa the bad thing ni kwamba kuna baadhi ya sasa ilipofika time sasa nataka nianze ku solve the situation mimi sasa ndo ni wabaya wale jamaa kwenye mizigo yangu na vitu kama hivyo kuna other things ambao pia walikuwa wame lose ikabidi sasa ile hela iliyobaki it couldn't solve inabidi nikope nimeshanipata kipindi hiyo nikakopa a few money from a few friends kwa ya kwenda ambao wao walienda kukopa watu yani wale wa uh, nini interest na vitu kama hivyo. Kwa hiyo mimi nitumie tu majina yao kwa mbona usitumie tu kama ustaa sasa ukaenda pale itakuwa kidogo ni mbaya. Ukishindwa labda kulipa vizuri watu tutaanza kuingiza kwenye ma media na manini. Kwa wale friends wakaenda kukopa. Walipokopa mimi kuja kujaribu ku solve nikakundua that business kwanza ilikuwa ni non-existent. Umeshanipata. Kumbe mwana alikuja akakwaru alikuwa anadaiwa na watu wengine wakamnyang'anya kuna gari zangu nilikuwa nimempa nifanye transport sio ya nini nasikia huko bandarini watu wakajua yeye ameenda kuoda magari kwa sababu alioda kwa jina lake wakamshika magari wakabeba kadi wakabeba he had nothing yani mpaka amewekwa ndani kuna siku naweza wewe kwa hapa mimi nimesafiri kumbe mwana amewekwa ndani kipindi fulani and it was so bad katika level ambayo hasa kimwangalia bro amepoteza so much of my money afi yeye mwenyewe hana hata shilingi 10 umeshanipata mm. what do you do umeshanipata mimi nafanya nini unaanza kufanya nini unampeleka polisi unampeleka polisi anakupa nini ana nini ni unamuingiza tu mwana polisi umeshanipata unafanya kitu gani that's the justice ambayo utapata kiwanja nacho hana nini ana he has nothing umeshanipata ndo ndo mambo yake yani yani ndo hivi michezo anaoifanya umeshanipata mm. ndo kitu kilichopo he is a con man ambaye pia he is not really smart kesi kwamba hata akikon 
Habakizi kitu hagro chochote. Umeshanipata? Wewe wewe sahi uko wapi? Sijui mimi nasikiaga tu. Mwana si bare kwa api esema kuna siku napiga simu amsaidieni mwenzenu bana msameeni nini there's nothing the only time ambao mimi nilikuja ku grow back nikaja kusimama tena as me is the time nakumbuka maana kumbuka nilifight sana kwenda kutafuta hizi yani my money as nili fight vibaya mno kurudi kupata hela zangu yani so eh <laughs> kuna saa mpaka ni hadi my family ambao walikuwa wanachukia na waliona how nilikuwa na lose paka wenyewe wakasema mm. yani paka wakaona ni ni huruma sasa ni it's really bad na kumbe kuna kipindi nikakaribia mwezi mzima niko in my room naongelea chumbani juu sijashuka for a month maid anakuja kuniletea tu chakula pale mnaona kama uko jela paka mlinzi imagine mlinzi wangu alikuja kuna anakuja kunigongea anicheki boss mlinzi ambaye haangiagi ndani anakuja ongea boss ufo ah hapo hapo Month later nilipokuja kutoka ah mimi nilikuwa nakuja kucheki juma hala unaweza ukajiua mm. <laughs> it was that bad lakini I, I, i realized i went back kwenye drawing book nishanipata nika nikakaa nikafikiria kwa nini nilienda BBA it was for the platform platform nilikuwa nitumia kufanya nini so that's when nika sit nikasema okay sasa nitatumia this platform to get back what i wanted mission pad kila kitu nitatumia na nitarudi this time at least niko smarter na hichi kitu naweza nikamshukuru Mungu kimetokea early in life na naweza nika, nika watu wamepoteza so much more mission mm-hmm. pad mimi nipoteza tu labda 600 million na watu wamepoteza familia kuna watu wamepoteza nini kwa kwa ujinga ujinga kama huo mm-hmm. so i really learned the hard way kipindi hicho mm-hmm. na nikakutana na na bro mmoja anaitwa Million Reoba Max Max nakumbuka aliniambia neno fulani hivi Alafu it took me a really long time kufikiria kwa sababu kipindi hicho wakati ananiambia ni kwa sasa nimeanza kudaiwa kodi ya nyumba ni nyumba za za GSM pale nakumbuka ah paka nikampigia nakumbuka boss Halib nikampigia nikamuomba sana nilimuomba sana ninaomba nisaidie tafanya nini sina kodi nitafanya nini mimi jamaa akaniambia basi sawa mimi nitakulipia kwa sababu regardless kwamba nyumba ni za kwao but still linalipiwa umeshaona <laughs> kwa akaniambia atanilipia akanilipia for six months mimi ni mumba to six months six months the voice ni kijua labda mambo yatakuwa yamekaa sawa still nothing sasa this time najiuliza sina njia ya kuingiza kipato sina way ya kufanya chochote kwa hiyo amna hata kodi amna chochote nilichofanya nikachukua tu vile vitu vyangu vyote vipo ndani nikamwambia pende kwa mdogo mangu mdogo alikuwa na kakimara ndio ambako mimi nilipokuja dada nilikuwa na kaoko sababu nasoma form 5 na 6 mm. busy high kipindi kile very close pale sasa hivi vikaenda kule kwa vitu vyangu vyote akanisaidia akanipa parking moja pale vikaka vitu vyangu vyote <laughs> mimi nikakaa nikawaza max amenia max nakumbuka sijaambia maneno max amenambia max aliniambia once you realize you've lost it you will get back and look for new kwa sababu aliona kabisa jinsi gani nilikuwa bado na dwell kwenye kurudisha kile ambacho nimekipoteza. Akaniambia umeshakipoteza hicho, ukisha realize kwamba hicho kimepotea kimekwenda, utarudi, utaanza kutafuta kingine. Because bado una nguvu na unaweza kutafuta kitu kingine. And that's what I did. Nikarudi kwenye drawing board nikachora ramani yangu moja ni mpaka on the top nikaandika Hollywood nitafikaje vitu gani nitafanya huko chini nikaandika radio presenter stand up comedy nini every single thing nika draw the whole plan from there nikampigia ruge simu na ruge nakumbuka Idris pale njoo tupige story njoo tupige story everything single day ananiambia lakini na mambo mengi bado ile imepotea sasa mimi kupiga story za nini namwambia nini nivo draw ile plan yangu nikampigia ambe boss nakuja nikafika pale ofisini kwake sijamwambia sidhani hata kama hata alikuwa anajua situation labda kiutuzima kidogo inaweza kawa anajua lakini nikafika pale nikamwambia i'm ready to work hapa tutafanyaje nikapewa kipindi cha radio kipindi cha radio nikawa nalipa zangu salary fresh nini ile salary sasa i didn't ilikuwa ilikuwa ni nzuri kwa sababu you know the fame na nini na kila kitu ilikuwa ni nzuri lakini ilikuwa itoshi Haiwezi kutosha kwa sababu nina madeni. Kumbuka kuna watu walikopa kule. Kwa the whole salary ambayo nimefanya kazi kuanzia 2016, hii naongelea 2016. 2016 mpaka 2018 nafanya for two years. I didn't get anything. Kwa hiyo mshahara wangu nilikuwa napata kama kilaki 3 4 ndio ninachokipata mimi. Mwingine wote unaenda kulipa madeni. 
ilibidi niandikane na niandike mkataba na wale majamaa kwamba kila mwezi nakuwa na kulipa kiasi hiki. Majamaa wapi? Hao ambao wame, wamekopa kwa marafiki zangu oh, andike mkataba na wale watu wa percent. Oh, ndio ndio ndio. Kwa sababu jinsi inavyozidi ukaa muda si percent inaongezeka. Maskini. Kwa nikaomba kwa nipige simu jamani sikizeni hizi percent siongezeke zikuwa ni 30% ndugu yangu. 30% kila mwezi naongezeka for 2 years. That's a lot of money. Yaani ilikuwa eh, <coughs> ilikuwa ni very bad. Shushi ana nani? Anyegezi. Na, na, yes, shusha ana machungu. Cheers <laughs> <laughs> ndugu yangu. <laughs> Unatusikiliza kupitia Boomplay kama unafanya hivyo. Inawezekana ikawa kwenye Spotify ama iTunes. Asante kwa kuchagua salama na. Niendelee. Niendelee. Kwa hiyo for two years mimi nilikuwa na so napiga kazi vibaya mno to pay the debt. Kwa hiyo najijua hiyo anaipiga lakini pia sina hiyo. Umeshanipata. Mm. Kwa maisha like yangu there was ka income kidogo. But sasa one thing ambayo sijakwambia ni on that time wakati nafanya hivi ilibidi nimpigie Max nikamuomba naomba basi nije nikae kwako askini mm-hmm. nimepata Max akanikubalia akanipa chumba chumba kimoja hivi <laughs> nikaenda pale ndo nikachukua wapi uko mbezi kuna yes mbezi mm. ndo nikachukua pale chumba kwa Max pale nikaenda na kabati langu la nguo mm. nikaenda na kitanda changu that's it sikubeba kitu kingine chochote kwa sababu nilikuwa sihitaji chochote mm. so nilikuwa natoka pale ninge redio napiga redio na rudi pale ndapale napiga redio rudi rudi pale umeshaona mm. so I, i stayed pale kwa for a year i inside here from november 2016 mpaka no haikufika year mpaka ilikuwa ni april yes nakumbuka pa april 2017 mm. april 2017 nikawa nimepata kazi ya kampuni moja hivi ya simu pale nikapata kadi fulani hivi nikaka fight kwa nikakapata nilivopata nikachukua ile hela yote nikaenda kulipa kodi. Shanipa, nilipa kodi chumba changu kimoja pamoja na chumba kingine cha pili pamoja na sebule. Alafu meneja wangu ambaye nilikuwa nafanya naye kipindi hicho ndio tulikuwa tunakaa pale kila siku tukaa kwenye meza ya Max pale. Mm. <laughs> Tunapanga vitu gani tunafanya, tukaamua tuondoke na yeye akaondoka home, alikuwa anaishi kwao, mm. akaja kuishi pale. Kwa hiyo tukawa tunakaa pale mimi chumba kimoja, meneja wangu alikaa chumba kingine, tunashia sebule kama kawaida fresh. Mm. Tukaa so vibaya mno. Yaani it was yani yani mimi na Dr. Olimu wangu tukaa so vibaya. <laughs> Tukapata deal lingine la kampuni kaina inauza tambi. Mm. <laughs> Kipindi cha kuuza ambi sasa si nimeshalipa yote kodi sina hela umeshaona lakini sasa tumepata deal nyingine la tambi tukamwambia hivi ina hivi mtupe 50% before umeshanipata tumepata hiyo 50% before tuka solve ya kodi nyingine au tukawa tunatukamwambia tunahitaji mabox 20 kwa ajili ya mabox 20 sample kwa ajili unajua kushuti bana kwa spot nini kumbe mabox 20 ya tambi ulikula tambi ambie laki tatu ambao bado unaipiga kwenye redio nikawa naitumia kununulia mboga nisha nipata pamoja na usafiri nikaongea na mshikaji mmoja wa bajaji shukrani sana hizi zipu unajifunika kule mastaa wengi sana anatembea kwenye bajaji wanafunga zipu kwa hiyo nikawa napiga zangu zipu fresh ninge zangu kwenye bajaji nikirudi kwenye kile kila kitatu kwa kila kimbi nikaongea na mtu wa bajaji kwa sababu every single day ni shilingi 5000 umesha nipata akawa nisaidia kweli 5000 kwenda na kurudi kutokea pale mbezi kwenye daraja pale ulivunjikaga mpaka kufika kule na nili mpaka kufika clouds nikasema every single day naenda na kurudi ah hiyo ikawa ni hela ndefu sana but still nika fight nayo alafu laki moja nikanunua mboga nyingi sisi na kazi na kwa sina kaa nyumbani sasa shida nikawa bado sina friji <laughs> na water dispenser ina ka friji ka chini kale una fit things mle chini ile nyanya moja what we used to do mbona hebu kusia tambi unachukua ile nyanya moja unapika tambi ile unakamata nyanya ile unaiminia ndani unakata kata kama vinyanya vi, viwili kama hivi alafu tunanua na yai moja tunapiga mle ndani kwa hiyo inakuwa tambi na mboga umeshaua Unanua kile ki, 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 kijuisi kimoja kile cha shilingi 700 kile kimelita 500 unajua kabisa unakipangua mita 250 mchana mita 250 stop <laughs> ni kabisa ni star nika fight so hard na andika strategies nini nikaandika so many things yani nikakutana na a few investors na vitu nikawa nimeandika plan ya viatu na nini that's when i launched the shoes mshaona. Mm. Kwa hiyo hapo nikawa na mimi nishajikusanya deni nalo lime limeshafutika, limefika zero. Ndio nikasema the first time ambapo nilikuwa na shilingi sifuri ndugu yangu. 
Yo, I've never been so happy when I sing this furi in my life. Si furi. I'm like, sida hii wina mtu because ile unajua kuna saa yenu unategemea ukitoka tu hivi mlango nitakutana na mtu amekusimamia hapo. Oh, vipi na kwa yani hauna amani kabisa, yani mm-hmm. kabisa. Ujui nani anadisiwa nini yani. Umeshaona. Mm-hmm. So what I did to have a fight, nikakusanya mpunga mpunga wangu fulani kiasi, nikakutana na watu fulani investors na nini, tuka launch the shoes. Launch the shoes, the, yani kama Mungu anajua the first week a thousand pairs sold out. Umeshaona. First week we were good yani yani i was back yani i was i was too back yani was yani ah, it was too much kwa sababu kiatu kimoja ndio ilikuwa ni kama laki moja na nusu the cheapest asa ukiuza a thousand pairs you're already way back yani hapo ni umetanua vibaya mno mm. but then i i still didn't want to do a lot kwenye hicho kipengele hapo so i fought hard kufanya vitu vingine i did other strategies to kaka vitu vingine tukafanya i got influencing jobs na nini na vitu kama hivyo so i started counting 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 paka nikafika level sasa hivi i'm earning about 100 million ndani ya kama miezi sita. paka nikaja nikarudi the first time nakumbuka nakuja kuangalia what, what is that thing ambao wanafanya gaya benki ya kuangalia ya mwaka mzima umepata shilingi ngapi mm. when i got to that level nikaja kukuta siku moja nimeingiza milioni 300 kwa mwaka that was 20 2018 nadhani hiyo nikaja kukuta no no not 2018 20 goja 20 yes 2018 2018 nimekuja kukuta pa nimepiga 300 nikasema ah it's definitely possible mm. nikapiga kazi nyingine so nasikia <laughs> that level it, it's, god is good it's a uh, it's... aha uh-huh. Niko na shangaa. Uko wapi? Mm-hmm. Asante sana Jessica. Asante sana. Sasa eh asante. Baba hapo unaweza ukapiga msosi wako vizuri kabisa. Hizo hiyo hapo zinaitwa shows nigger wings. Shows nigger wings. Yeah. Hii ya kwangu mimi inaitwa eh, Commander Cheeseburger. Hii hapo. Eh na unaweza kama ukiwa unakumbuka siku zako ambazo ulikuwa unakula nani tomato na nini unaweza kupiga vyote. Hii hapa mboga imeona hii. Tunamaliza. Watu wawili. Nataka uniambie mm. kuhusu watu wote ambao ulikuwa unajuana nao kwa sababu mm. ulivotoka ulivo kwenye nyumba kama mimi na wewe tulikuwa hatufahamu fahamiani. Yes, yes. Lakini nilikufahamu kwa sababu ulikuwa kwenye nyumba, ukiwakilisha yeah. taifa vizuri yeah. na ulivotoka tukaanza kufahamiana. Mhm. I'm sure kulikuwa kuna watu wengi sana ambao ulikutana nao baada ya wewe kutoka kwenye nyumba. Yeah. Ambao pengine at, katika zile ambazo umetumia maybe let's say 35,000 dollars, mm-hmm. hata kuna wengine ushawahi kuwapiga taf na nini na yes, nini. Yes, watu wengi yes. walikuwa wanakuja na shida zao kama wale ndugu yake mjomba na shangazi na nani yeah. na nani. Ulikuwa una, una, una uwezo gani wa kujua kwamba huyu ni rafiki na huyu yuko hapa kwa ajili ya pochi langu, mm. huyu hapa hanipendi, huyu hapa simjui, huyu hapa hivi na hivi. Huyu hapa mm. opportunist, huyu hapa anaweza kunisaidia. Unajua ni, 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 ni vigumu sana kuweza kujua nani ni nani because jinsi mdomo unavyoendelea kukwenda, watu wanakuwa really good actors. Mesha nipata, yani mm. watu wanajua kweli correct. Kwa sababu kama mimi tu nitaezaje kujua kuhusiana na ndugu nani who is real and who is not real kama tu watu wa kwenye mahusiano for years lakini bado huwezi jua the real intention ya mtu ambaye uko naye mm-hmm. so what i did mimi nilitengeneza tu concept moja kama na uwezo kukusaidia nitakusaidia kama siwezi siwezi na kibao alikuja kulia njaa mm-hmm. si ndio kabisa wengi sana unajua ilifika katika extend gani ambayo so many people walikuwa nakuja na huko una siku kuna mistake nilifanya kuna watu wawili waliniomba niwasaidie kitu fulani walikuwa walikuwa under so much trouble nakumbuka mm. washikaji fulani siwezi kuwataja ni maarufu maarufu kidogo walivoniomba wakaja akaja home mwingine na huko kuna mmoja aliniomba laki tano kuna mmoja aliniomba milioni akaja home wa laki tano nikakosea nikampa milioni nakumbuka hiyo <laughs> <laughs> nikakosea nika, kwa sababu i was busy mm. i was so yani nilikuwa This is me yani hata hela I didn't really think of spending it hmm. mimi kama mikupiga simu bata nini wewe ungeniona sali mshan kwa ungeniona niko safe fan napiga bata hmm. ungeona na flash kitu fulani the only thing ni nunua labda nilinua vitu ambavyo nilikuwa natamani kununua siku zote hmm. ni gari saa na baadhi ya vinguo vichache mshan ni bata hmm. hata nyumba zikununua nilikuwa nataka ku multiply the money that was my mindset mshan so wewe jamaa alivyo alivochanganya akaja yule mwingine ile mwingine akawa amenipigia simu but nzuri alikuwa ni very faithful eh naona kama umenizidishia mm-hmm. <laughs> akarudisha wale watu 
nilivyokuja kupata this trouble i'm telling you mmoja wao yule wa yule wa milioni yule mmoja wao yule yamini yule wa milioni yule ali nilimpigia simu na kumka siku hiyo nyumbani nilikuwa nimebaki na umeme unit kama 1 point hivi nikampigia ambia bro eh mshajoni mwanaume <laughs> bro kama nisaidie tu kama 50 hivi <laughs> eh mambe nakupiga nakupiga sasa hivi akupokea simu yangu tena I'm telling you huyu ni mtu ambaye mimi nikuja nikamsaidia vizuri sana nini siku nikampigia tu labda na trust kidogo umeshani pale mm. amsaidi kama 50 hivi ulikuwa unamwambia kila mtu matatizo yako no 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 yani sio kabisa yani yani mimi only my closest about ulidhani ni close people umeshani mm. pale yani mimi watu kama labda walikuwa najua labda mtu ambaye alikuwa na update labda na mtu mwingine labda karibu yaribu mshikaji the family ndio ilikuwa inajua umeshaona sio watu wanaojua watu wengine walikuwa na kisia kisia tu ndio usikia watu ameonga amesikia uko unajua bizaa they don't know the story umeshaona pale kwa sababu mtu anajua story anasema nimeonga kwa sababu sio hulka yangu niwe nazo nisiwe nazo umeshaona so wale wewe unahongwa hiyo ndio hulka yako amna wewe tendele tendele ukiongo utalipa dunia hii so what happened jamaa alini walini pangua kabisa yani Yaani sijui kunisaidia na nini? Mm-hmm. Ndio hapo ikabidi nianze kwanza upi. So yani kujua kama who is real and who is not mm-hmm. ni kitu ambacho nikaamua sasa hivi insi yake kwenye my mindset kabisa yani. Mimi nikusaidia si expect chochote in return. Yeah. Kabisa yani. Tenda yani, wema wenda wenda zako. Kabisa yeah. yani. Yaani nikusaidia wewe ondoka kuna siku nikikuomba ukinipa usiponipa hainiumizi. Kwa sababu ile mambo ya kumpa mtu ukitegemea kuna siku atakusaidia my friend watakuli support vibaya mno tafu na damu yani kila mmoja yani anakuaga na kwake yani uwezi kujua wewe unaweza ukamchukua ndo the closest friend kwako mm. yeye kumbe close friend kwake ni mtu mwingine kabisa yani hata sio wewe kabisa mm. wakati Drisa na onja onja hapo nilikuwa nataka nikukumbushe tu unaweza kutusikiliza kupitia Boomplay ya au unaweza kutusikiliza vile vile kupitia Spotify ama iTunes na usisahau ku follow account yetu kwenda ku subscribe kwenye account yetu ya YouTube inaenda kwa jina la Yaston Town so si ambao Drisa na kula unapatikana samaki samaki pale ulikuwa unawezaje kuishi Idris like mm. eh, kila mtu alikuwa ana anakuzungumzia ana vibaya yes. I, mi najua watu ambao walikuwa wanakuzungumzia vibaya yeah. uh, kwenye 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 sehemu kuna siku tulienda kwenye party yeah. watu wakawa wamekaa pembeni wanakuambia on yes. your face actually yes. sio 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 pembeni on your smiled, face na kumbuka and you did yeah, yeah? <laughs> and then excuse me kwenye mitandao pia hivyo hivyo when unapigwa mm. tu unapigwa tu but you are there You're not surviving. going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. and you're yeah. laughing about it. You're mm. smiling, you're making jokes about it. Yeah. Iyo litoa wapi? <laughs>